People across the country and right here in central Illinois are talking about vaping. Medical officials now say a fifth person in the state died from serious respiratory illnesses associated with vaping. Nationally, the number of deaths related to this issue has reached 48. And here to clarify why this is happening and offer some insight on solutions at the local level is Karina Park, a Carl Family Nurse Practitioner. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having Since me. Since we're talking about a hot topic here, so let's That's kind right, of start yeah. from the beginning. When you all there at Carl started, you know, realizing the potentially dangerous respiratory illnesses that come along with vaping. Okay, indications for this issue started around March of this year, and we started receiving information from our government through the Centers of Disease Control and the Illinois Department of uh, Public Health. But really, we've known about the health issues with this for some time. Let's back up a little bit and talk about what are e-cigarettes and vaping and uh, mm -hmm. sort of how did that come about and, and mm -hmm. for those who don't know what it is that, that mm -hmm. those specifically are. Okay, so e-cigarettes are devices that contain a liquid and when heated they turn into an aerosol that the user inhales. They come in all shapes and sizes. Our youth are really attracted to the e-cigarette called a jewel which actually looks like a flash drive you would use in your computer. Now it's the liquid part of the e-cigarette that contains the addictive property nicotine and um and they're flavored, right? I mean, some of them yeah. have different options for things that you can get that make them, in theory, more attractive. <laughs> yeah, they're, the flavors have been like bubble gum, cotton candy, fruity flavors, things like that. So, so an e-cigarette is not the same as vaping, or that is vaping? It is. They're the they're the same. Yeah, they're one and the same. Okay, we're right. just calling the instrument that they use to do the vaping the e-cigarette. Correct. I okay. think the general consensus, at least up until maybe March, was that this is the safe way to smoke. This is the safe way to uh, get past your nicotine habit. But apparently, that's not true. Well, smoking um, e-cigarettes have been used as smoking uh, devices in adults, but in our youth, we're seeing they're using those for recreational purposes. And the CDC, actually in the state of Illinois, has reported that cigarette smoking is declining and that e-cigarette usage in our youth is really increasing. For example, in 2016, um, we reported about 18% of the high school youth were vaping, and now in 2019, we're seeing numbers in upwards of 27 percent so you know really regardless of any age um, vaping is unsafe <laughs> yes it is especially for young adults and pregnant women or adults mm -hmm. who um, may not currently already use tobacco products right let's talk about addiction because I'm mm -hmm. guessing that this could become an issue Right. Um, it can be um, an addiction issue, but there are therapies to help, such as um, nicotine replacement therapies like the patch, the gum, um, the nicotrol inhaler, and then there's an oral medication called Chantix. But the problem with this is they're all indicated under the age of 18, and no research has been done for um, anyone, you know, anyone younger than 18. So really currently all we have is like one-on-one -on -one counseling that a patient, or I'm sorry, a parent could do with their child or like a physician or a healthcare provider could do with the individual. So. Let's say you have a teenager and mm -hmm. maybe you do know or don't know what, what it is they're doing. Mm -hmm. are, are there some ways that you have some quick tips that parents should go to their kids mm -hmm. and say, this is, this is not good. Where do, we, where do we start as parents? Okay, so there's resources at the national level through the American Academy of Pediatrics and the uh, National, well, the American Library Association. You can actually find a lot of information there, a lot of tools and tips that you could use with your child. So, right. so parents just need to be vigilant and... Um advocates for their kids yeah most <laughs> assuredly so right thank you for all Great the information tips. it's really helpful on a, what's been a semi-confusing issue i think mm -hmm. recently so thank you if you want more details on this topic we will have those for you on our website just go to cilivingtv